Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to play with Luminar 3 and the Sunrays filter. So let's get to it. Alright, here we are. We're in the library part of uh, Luminar 3 and I created a folder. This is actually the photo we're going to work on. Um, but I created a folder with just a couple images in it. Um, so we have that up. And let's click on the edit, and that brings you straight into the develop module. And from here, you just click on add filter. Obviously, that's where the sunray filter is. So just click on add filter. And I'm just going to, you can search for it here if you want to under the filters catalog. Or you can just drag down here, and there it is right there. Um, I have it starred, so it's a little bit easier to find. Um, you can star these pretty darn easily. You can just click on that star and then I'll highlight it for later just for you know quick access basically. And now I just want to click on Sunrays and that brings up my Sunrays filter under the development module. Let's go ahead and click off the filters catalog just get out of the way. And from here um, basically you just want to play with these sliders and just sort of see why you like it and see what works best for the image. And I actually like where it placed it right away. Um, but I will, the first thing I usually do is click on the plus, I'm sorry, the place sun center. So I click on that and that brings up a little tab so you can drag that sun around to see how it affects that background. And it is so cool how it affects that background, I think. Um, I sort of like it how where it had it to begin. Um, but, I don't know, something crazy right there is sort of neat too. It's sort of, you know, shining right through the trees let's start there let's just play with that that it's a little bit more uh, exaggerated too so it'll be good uh, to show you that uh, so now at this point we'll just play with the the amounts and sliders and all this good stuff so let's just sort of move this guy up and down and see what it all looks like you can obviously get pretty crazy with it. and I don't want to get too wild but uh, I might go over just a little bit just to show you guys what it can do uh, so I'm out right there, and the look like the look looks like it plays with uh, the vignette a little bit and gives it definitely gives it some contrast. So I always love vignetting my photos. So I'm gonna go down a little bit on the on the look. Let's go back up though on the mount, sort of like that. And the number is the number of rays that it's gonna play with. I did like I sort of liked where it was at though. It's not right on her face, but it's sort of all around her. So 43 is a good spot. In the length, obviously, you can how you know how long those sun rays you want to be. You can spread across the whole image, or just just out of the trees there. So I'm going to spread them across more of the whole image because I like how it brightens up sort of the right hand side as well. Now let's go ahead and play with the warmth a little bit. And my dog is obviously golden retriever, so I'm going to warm those rays up I think it goes well with the whole image but you can go you know down to blue but I want to warm this up you can go crazy with it but I'm not going to do that uh, so let's go maybe about you know just a little warmer so maybe about right there so sort of like that that's cool All right, now it's down to the Sun section so this part just plays with the actual Sun part of it and the radius uh, obviously you can get again you can still get sort of crazy I don't want to get too wild bring it up a little well actually I brought it I was playing with it and I brought it back right to where it was so that's fine right there and glow radius just you know how it's glowing around I'm gonna bring that up a little bit and then the glow amount I'm gonna bring that up a little bit too and then the warmth you can warm it up that warm it up warm up that middle part sorry uh, but I don't know. I don't know, really like how that looks. I like how I like warming the rays better than that metal it looks sort of looks sort of weird. And then this bottom part, the overall, the penetration sort of affects everything. Obviously, the overall. And I don't know. Let's probably where it was is pretty good. Sort of like that. That's good. And let's just go one more time. I'm gonna click off play center just to get that little dot out of there. So I'm going to click that off, and I'm going to play with the amount I really think affects it very well, and the look. Sort of my favorite two tabs, I think. They sort of give me what I'm looking for. 
I think that's it. I think I like that. Uh, I'm going to click on Play Sun Center. Back on that. And I like where that's at. But I'm just going to drag this around a little bit and see if I like it anywhere else. But I think I like it where it was. Yeah, I think I like it, you know, sort of where it was about right there. That was cool. 25, yeah. So yeah, let's keep that. So there we go. So there's um, Sunrays Filter and Luminar 3. And from there, I'll click off that. And uh, I'll export this image to the desktop. And usually what I'll do is I'll rename, if I put a filter on something, I'll rename the end of it. So like, you know, I'll just put Sunray Filter. And sharpening none, original, size... Uh, color space sRGB is good format JPEG that's fine quality 100% I'll just go ahead and save that to the desktop and that is saving there and thanks so much for watching please subscribe and like and hope to see you guys again all right see you later bye